Hey there guys, I'm just a guy having fun out at the range. We're going to shoot something in a moment, but before we do, I wanted to show you guys something kind of neat about the AR-15 platform, and that is that you can swap calibers very easily on an AR-15. For those of you guys who aren't familiar, an AR-15 is essentially two parts. The lower, which is considered the firearm, and the upper, which contains uh, the bolt carrier, the barrel, uh, most of the functioning parts other than the trigger group. And so just by swapping out that top half, I can actually change what caliber I have. So I've started here uh, with a 22 long rifle, so a little guy, a little 22 long rifle in my AR-15. And we'll just shoot this guy nice and close here at 20 yards. Type 3. Bummer. See if that's a live one. Yeah, that was a live one. Okay. All right, let's go out and see if I can hit anything at 50. A little high. There we go. There we go. All right, so we can even hit stuff out to 50 with 22. Okay. Um, so let's say I get bored shooting 22. You know what? I'd really rather have a real cartridge. Let's go ahead and swap this guy out. So we need to pop out the rear takedown pin and the front takedown pin. Top half comes off and I can swap it with, oh, let's say, Let's shoot for some accuracy with some 223. All right. And all of a sudden, I have a 223 AR-15 rather than a 22. Making sure we've got the right cartridge. Let's see what we can do at 50 yards, and then we'll go out to 100. Maybe we'll go a little bit further than that today. So 50 yards. It's got to 100. Silhouette there. Okay, let's go out to 200 and see if we can hit one of those gongs at 200. I'm going to hold it to hold just a little bit differently. Oh, come on. There it is. Oh, that was a little high. High again, really? There it is. So that's a, I think it's a 12 inch plate at 200 yards. Let's go out to the 300. Nailed it. First try. All right. Let's see if I can put another one on. See if we can get two in a row. Yep. Got it. Two in a row. Let's go for three. Three for three at the 300 yard. I love 223. It's a very comfortable round to shoot. Um, this is my upper more for accuracy. But maybe I want an upper more for speed, still in the same caliber, but I want to be able to swap out to something that's designed for a little bit more speed. Now, ideally, I'd have a red dot on it, but in this case, I just have another 223 upper with a slightly lower power scope on it. Get this sling off of here. Okay, so still 223. Let's go ahead and see if we can be a little bit faster at 50 yards. Let out 100. There we go, and we're empty. So if I want to have a different setup, different optics, you know, red dot versus a scope, and I want to be able to swap those out without having to re-zero everything. 
pretty neat to be able to swap things out. So that time I didn't change caliber. I just changed my optical setup. So one last caliber change. You guys know that I have a 300 blackout. I get a little stiff. There we go. So then we can also go to a 300 blackout. Now 22, 223, 300 blackout are the different cartridges that I have out here today. Okay, where was I? Uh, 223, 22, 300 blackout, that's nowhere near representative of all of the different uh, cartridges that you can use on an AR platform. Um, there are dozens, dozens of different calibers that you can use on an AR. And that is one of the things that I like the most about the AR platform in particular is its versatility. I can essentially have one firearm, the ATF considers the lower the firearm, and I can shoot as many different calibers on top of it as I want, including uh, they make a bolt action 50 BMG upper that you can actually put on top of an AR-15. Uh, it's not a semi-automatic like this, and uh, some of the longer cartridges obviously can't be magazine fed on this AR lower, but you have a lot of versatility. Let's shoot some 300 blackout. 100 yards. Oop, a little high. There we go. Oh, come on. There it is. Oh, missed that last one again, though. Okay. Yeah, so a lot of different power. Uh, 350 Legend, 450 Bushmaster, 50 Beowulf, 458 SOCOM, 6.8 Special, or 6.8 whatever that one is, 6.5 Grendel, um, all sorts of different calibers, including 7.62 by 39, all on top of one upper. So that's one of the neat things that I really like about an AR-15. Um, yeah, it's a black, scary rifle, oh boy. Uh, it's neat from a mechanical standpoint. It's neat from a versatility standpoint. Um, I can do a lot with one firearm, uh, as opposed to... Some of the bolt action rifles, you know, you, you get one cartridge. That's it. That's all you'll ever get to put through that one rifle. But here, I can have as many upper halves as I want and be able to enjoy all of those different cartridges. So, all right. there it goes. Okay. So, lower half, upper half, all you got to do is swap those out and everything works as it should. Hope you enjoyed that short little video. Got some good shots on target. That was a lot of fun. We'll see you in the next one. Come on, here it is. And we're out.